And with my annual check-in, pretty much almost twice annual, with uh, David Glanzer, the Vice President of Marketing and Public Relations for Comic-Con International and WonderCon. Hey, great to see you again. Thank you. And, and I'm just the director, but I'll take the promotion. I always do that. I know. Wait, it's, it's okay. Like, it's okay. Wait, wait, I'm hoping one, Every, of these, one of these days is going to be right on. It is. Right? It is. Yeah, yeah, I keep yeah. hoping that one of these days the board won't notice. And, right, know, right, right. So just... it's like we're, we're going to keep doing this until you guys get it right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Hey, great to see you. Good to see you, too. Me too. Uh, first of all, give my viewers a, who don't know uh, why we're in Anaheim rather than San Francisco. The... Uh, you know, we've been in San Francisco for 25 years. Right. We ended up having to move down here because San Francisco Moscone Center is undergoing renovations. And so there's a whole block of time where they literally couldn't have any conventions. So we were kind of stuck with looking for a new venue. We had to find a place, first of all, that A, could accommodate us in terms of time, the date, that had a big enough floor that could accommodate our exhibitors. Right. And mo probably more importantly, or just as important certainly, is meeting space and having enough meeting space. After searching around, uh, Anaheim ended up being a place that had the facility that could accommodate us. And the good thing about that is, when we first moved down here, we had taken Hall E, mm -hmm. but uh, Hall E, no, I'm sorry, not Hall E, Hall C, I think Hall it was. C, right, right. And uh, we sold it out in record time. Wow. So they were able to accommodate us to Hall D, so now we have Hall D for exhibits and Hall E for registration. And what were the logistics like in going through all that? Was it hair -raising? It's not easy. It you know, the, the truth of the matter is, while the show's been around for 25 years, mm -hmm. being in a new city and a new venue is like mounting a first show all over again. Right. If we were doing this for the very first time, we probably wouldn't have had a Friday because typically you have to build into that, let the community know that you're here because, you know, Friday's a work day, a school day. But because uh, WonderCon has been around for so long, we decided to, to have it a three-day show. Right. And we were really happy that uh, Friday was, was pretty busy. I was yeah. surprised. Yeah. And so far, Saturday looks pretty good, too, despite the fact that we're having torrential rains down here. But so far, so good. We have our fingers crossed. I can say, we want you back. <laughs> we want you back. Well, I, you know, our hope, our hope really is to move back right. to San Francisco. Uh, you think this was be just, by 2013? We um, hope so. The, this know. was just a one-day thing because they were doing renovations. I will be honest with you, though, and that is... Moscone hasn't given us dates yet for 2013. Oh. So, you know, we're really hoping that those dates come through. Typically, they only give us dates about six months out. And as any exhibitor knows, having dates that short out isn't conducive to planning one's schedule, right. especially when there's so many conventions on the calendar. Because I have to make the feel is different here because you're in a different urban setting. It's more, it's spread out. And, it, is, you know, it is. But I will have like, to tell you, there's a... a I, I think inside the building, mm -hmm. and certainly within this floor, there's oh, a, a great yeah. camaraderie. And, and we're sharing the hall with uh, with some cheerleaders and some volleyball players. And I have to tell you... I didn't really, notice. <laughs> they, well, they've been really great. Uh, when the doors close uh, and, and the cosplayers go out... They're treated like celebrities, you know, photographs yeah. and stuff. So it's, it's yeah, I got one video of the cheerleaders with a stormtrooper. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, and, and that was going on all day yesterday. So it's it's a lot of fun. Everybody seems to be getting along fine. How's it going? So it's going well. It is. Yeah, I, you yeah. know, I think uh, again, you know, you never want to have to move a show like this. But, right. But we were tasked with that responsibility. Knock wood. Uh, it, it seems to be going well. I have to say, see, I'm torn because part of me wants to, to, to hope you say, "Oh man, it could be a lot better." And I'll say, "Yeah, come back to San Francisco." And well, the other one's like, it, it, "I want you to do really, really well because you like your friends and everything, right?" Right, so it's right. Like, you know. Well, the truth of the matter is, I mean, it could always be better. And, and I think when you move into a new venue, I think you expect a certain hit in terms of attendance. Right. Now we. Because people don't know what WonderCon is down here. What right. we tried to do was let the San Diego audience, let the L.A. audience know that we're the same people who put on the San Diego Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that will have translated into people knowing a little bit about the show before they actually attend it. And so are you going to set a record this year? Because it looks, seems like you're in a bigger exhibit hall. The exhibit hall is actually bigger. We have, mm -hmm. we have probably That's about 200 more exhibitors this year. Wow. We have a little bit wow. more um, uh, programs as well. A record we won't know until afterwards. I, I doubt it. I'll be happy if we have what we had last year. That was the I, record, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was about 49,500 plus. Right. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we were down a little bit because, again, it's a new city. Hey, man, thanks a lot, man. Thank Great you as always, you, as always. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, definitely. All right.